What are you doing? Fill up the water table for Sissy, please. What are you doing? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? I got you that whole little bin right there with all the stuff you could wash. Are you a firefighter? Yeah. <gasps> Not us! Hi guys. Um, so I figured I would just have a sit down with you and have a little chat. Um, my husband is asking for a play, but like I'm getting a play by play pretty much from the grocery store. Um, he doesn't know where things are and so I'm trying to help him uh, find things. But um, I just had to come on here and say before this vlog goes in any farther that um, I am struggling. <laughs> um, I know a lot of you out there are struggling as well, but um, having my husband home and then not home. Oh, he's FaceTiming me now. Hi. Where? Down. Okay, well, maybe it's not there. Well, I got doctor, I got OJ, so I got this milk. Okay. And this. As I was saying, um, my husband just faced at me. But, um, so it's been a struggle, as I know it has been for a lot of you guys. Um, having my husband home and then not home, um, because what's going on with his work is like he he's home and then like something happens and then he's he's out he's got to go to work and deal with whatever or um he's getting memos to his phone constantly non-stop like updates 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 of what they're allowed to do what they're not allowed to do what they need to tell their guys um stuff like that so um it's just like he's here a lot, but he's not like here a lot. Like he's on his phone because he's doing a lot of stuff for work. Um, he's constantly getting text messages about updates and things and notes and blah, 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 blah. So it's nice that he's here, but he's not really here. Um, and then he's just like kind of in the way. And then it's kind of frustrating having him here and him not being able to do anything because he's got to do, he's working from his phone kind of doing different things. So. I've been having a hard time with that and um, I need to try and understand, but it's hard because then I have Victoria that has just gotten over an ear infection and I need to get her back into doing her schoolwork. Her spring break actually starts this week, but I'm still gonna be doing some schoolwork with her just because we didn't do anything this week because of the, her ear infection. Um, so I'm not gonna take it like too hard on her, but I'm definitely going to, um, try and like get some like 30 minutes in a day or so. Max was also struggling with the ear infection. He started to complain about his ear on Wednesday. So I started giving him her antibiotics as well. And um, we just played outside and then I gave them a bath and I was looking in his ear and it looked like it was draining um, previously, like it's dried up now. So he obviously did have an ear infection. Um, so yeah, they're both sharing the antibiotics and um tor's got to be on it for 10 days Jax, i'm thinking i'm gonna give it to him for like seven days because i my mom's a nurse and she told me that you could just give it to him for seven days and they'll be fine so <clears throat> obviously i'm giving tor the bulk of it she had a double ear infection Jax is getting it like you know he's getting a lesser dose because he's littler and he only had one ear infection and it was like very mild compared to hers so that is the update on us um since i saw you guys last actually last vlog i ended up taking victoria to the hospital i had to take her to the er and so i ended up having to take her to the er which was really scary for me i really contemplating doing that and that happened on monday um i did not want to take or it was like sunday night i did not want to take her with everything going on i was super scared um but ended up when i got there sorry my arm's getting tired when i ended up getting there um fort benning has a big um tent set up that you have to go through first before you can go into the er and it was around 9 p.m so we would have had to go into the er anyway and um and the regular hospital is not open at this time so 
I didn't want to do that and Fort Benning does have tents set up before you can go into the ER so if you have any symptoms um, showing that you may have it then they send you home or whatever they evaluate you and you're not allowed to go in the ER so that made me feel a lot better and so um, I took her to the ER we finally got some um antibiotics she was not able i was not able to get antibiotics over the phone they had to see her physically her ear we were there for two hours um while Jax and my husband sat in the car and when Jax's fever spiked and he also had an ear infection so yeah we've been just dealing with a lot i've been like very overwhelmed if you follow me over on instagram i have shared and expressed a lot of my daily struggles and my hard times going on right now um, I know everyone's having some hard times, but right now in my house, when it rains, it is pouring down. So I just have to get her back into doing her school stuff and kind of get us back into the groove now that we're all feeling a little bit better. Um, and, you know, it's really hard, like I said, like with my husband here and then not here. Um, I never know what to expect. Like, I never know... I kind of just have to do my own day and if he's here that's great um, but not always rely on him being able to help me out with things because he is on a work call or he is um, dealing with stuff or he's got to go in that day so that's been a struggle for me and um, I just figured I'd vent with you guys tell you guys how I'm feeling um, I cleaned the house a little bit today I disinfected everything cleaned the bathtubs um, did the door handles and kind of just did like a brief um disinfecting way saw to the door handles and the electrical like um light switches um wiped down all the remotes wiped down all the counters with um clorox wipes and just trying to do our daily thing my husband's uniform is in the wash right now and then i'm also washing victoria's bedding and then i'm going to be washing our bedding I just take you guys along for this journey of our weekend um you guys seem to like my weekend vlogs and i want to bring you as much entertainment as i can at this time um because i know most of us are I mean, all of us are stuck inside the house and um i know i've been really relying on youtube to help me through so this video is probably gonna be a little long because i've been chatting my head off but um what else do I have to say? Oh, I've been watching The Tiger King, or I, we finished The Tiger King. It's a show on Netflix. So if you haven't watched that and you need a show, go watch that. Also, Little Fires Everywhere. Um, it's a you. It's a Yahoo. What am I saying? Yahoo. It's a Hulu series, and um, there's like four episodes out right now, but they come out. I want to say weekly. Um, so catch up on all those episodes, and then you can watch it weekly with me. Um, so that's what we've been doing now we just need to find a new show because we finished the tiger king and it was super good and like weird and dark and like strange and i have so many questions still so if you haven't watched that yet maybe check that out but i am going to um wait for my husband to get home with the groceries and i'll see you then. for dinner tonight the kids decided on waffles with honey and butter that's okay the waffles that they're having eight and vitamins and minerals good source of iron I like eggs milk and hidden butternut squash so tour's teacher just texted us and asked all the parents to participate in social distancing um and help the kids have more fun on their walks a little project that they're gonna do and so they asked everyone to go on a bear hunt and put bears in their windows um so i'm going to show you our bear in our window here's our bear in our window isn't she cute she's a cutie i'm excited Oh, yeah, I forgot to even tell them. I didn't even tell them. Mm -hmm. Tell them. I got a little truck. Nothing crazy, but I'm very happy about it. Little Toyota pickup truck. Excited. Four wheel drive, five speed. Brand new motor, new clutch. Where's the, whatever they're called? The Brussels sprouts? Yeah. I, I, I'm not cooking them yet. I don't want to, if I put them on now, they'll burn. I put them on a little after the, Steaks are almost done. It only takes a few minutes for this truck. Oh, um, yes, he got a truck or is getting a truck um, probably soon. 
loan or he got the loan for it and everything already so he's going to be buying a truck probably next week so we will have two vehicles thank the lord thank oh god okay oh wow well. Crazy. Is this hibachi? Salt and pepper. This is home hibachi. This is how you have an at home hibachi right here. Look at all this crap behind me. It looks way worse on camera. Uh, well, I told you, it's like a. Car? It's like a hoarding freaking studio. Well, maybe when we move. we can assess that situation. Oh, are you playing? Are you playing go fish? He's not sharing his fish with you? What a struggle. At least your room's nice and clean. Mommy cleaned it for you and put nice sheets on your bed. It's a little messy now, the bed, but I cleaned up your little nightstand. gonna say oh here he is bear. what'd you do you left him on the ground yeah. he was sad gonna give him a hug yeah. another gourmet meal we have this like every weekend <laughs> this is our dinner every weekend well also they couldn't he couldn't find chicken at the grocery store there's no chicken so I'm not mad about it steak came out really good yeah, I did. I'm excited to try it. Hey guys, so it is the next morning um, and we are just going to actually go on a little bit of a nature walk. So I figured I'd take you guys with us. Um, I'm excited to get out of the house and do something not around the neighborhood, something off of the base. So let's go. We're going to go find a little walking trail to go on and get some fresh air, pick some flowers and just enjoy the day this is uh what i decided to wear i'm just wearing some bike shorts and this for carson old t-shirt um but yeah let's go you're up on the hill look at Jax. he just looks so cool <laughs> you see water here hold my hand No, you don't have to get wet. Just come down here and look. Well, I like it. 
work waiting for him to sign all these people's paperwork or something what are the kids doing you guys feeling okay i don't know did you sign all your private's paperwork yeah. with your pink pen mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so we are home now i figured i would show you what i got from target nothing great we went in there or i went in there alone super quick um, I went in there just to pick up some tampons, but um, I obviously ended up with other stuff just because I hadn't been in a store in forever. I was only in there for like maybe five minutes, but I snagged some stuff. So I was going to order these shoes online for the kids, but I figured while I was there and if they had their sizes, I was just going to pick them up. So um, they're just like water shoes kind of. I don't know why it's not focusing. And then I picked up my husband some washcloths because the ones that we have, he said, are too um, thick, I guess. Um, and then these are the tampons that I use. I tried to use the Diva Cup, but it made me feel like, I don't know, I didn't like it, especially when we were just now doing all the hiking and stuff. Like, I don't know. So I just wanted to have these as a backup for if I want to use them, but this is the ones that I use, the organic cotton ones, in case you were curious. <laughs> Um, my husband needed a new loofah because he goes through them like crazy and like they get disgusting looking or like fall apart kind of and then we're also out of toothpaste so super exciting um, target trip these shoes are great because like they have this easy easy for them to put on and I was just getting so annoyed with having to try and put their sh like slip on shoes on that were I don't know not water not good for the water. I am um, doing just doing some laundry. I took a shower. Um, I did a face mask. I shared with you guys um, kind of my thoughts on... I bought this stuff I've talked about before. If you follow me on Instagram... Oh, sorry for the lighting change. If you follow me on Instagram, then you um, already know my thoughts and what I think about it. But I figured while I'm vlogging today, I'll share with you my thoughts on it here. But um, I have a video on my channel talking all about the Isles of Paradise and the tanning drops, but they launched a new product and it's actually Isles of Paradise and it's a self tanning butter. Um, I will have the video of me talking about the tanning drops linked um, in the cards if you wanna watch that then you are free to watch that um it's a really informative video of how my first impressions and my thoughts on using the isles of tanning isles of paradise tanning drops for the first time so this is the bottle of the isles of paradise tanning drops and um qvc was actually having a little deal where they offered a giant size so let me show you the size comparison so look at that so you get the big size of the tanning drops and you get the body butter um, for, I want to say like 30 bucks or something. I don't know. They have a code um, if you're a new customer to get $10 off as well. So um, what I love about this is I tried it last night for the first time with no drops or anything and um, it was great. It reminds me a lot of the Jergens Natural Glow. Blah, blah, blah. The Jergens Natural Glow. Um, this stuff right here. 
and I am actually a fan of this stuff. I like to use this just like when I don't feel like doing a crazy tan. So I'm a big fan of this. And I normally get the medium tan in that. And this one doesn't like have a color. Um, I don't know if it goes based off what you bought. I always get the tanning drops in dark. Even though I'm very fair, um, I just feel like, I don't know, I really like the dark one. You can use less drops. So, um, I think this, all of them are the same exact lotion, but I feel like with the Jergens Natural Glow, I get about one and a half shades darker when I use that one time. Um, twice in a row, I'm like two to three shades darker. With this, just one time use, I'm like three times darker. Um than what I normally am. So it's definitely buildable. You can do this, I could do this again today. Um, after, like once I got out of the shower, I could have did it. I didn't though, just because I wanted to do a face mask and like use my other lotion on my body. But what they're also recommending with that is that you can do the tanning drops in that. So you can do like two tanning, two drops of the tanning stuff in that to make your tan darker as well. Or if you watch that video, I'll talk about it more in depth there. But um, what I like to do is combine the Isles of Paradise tanning drops with this Hemp's Original. This is my favorite lotion. I love this so much. And um, I really like that combination. So I just figured I'd share in case you were curious. QVC is having a deal, um, like I said, and they always have deals on the smaller bottle. But like, look at that difference of bottle size so it's definitely a great option that's all i got to talk about um i got my comfy pjs on i just took off my face mask my husband just ran to the grocery store to pick up some wine because and some like random other things that we needed um and i am just gonna hang with the kids um i think we're going to try and find a new show that's all we're up to um I figured I would probably end this vlog here today so that way I can have it uploaded for you guys this week. Um, it is Saturday so I don't know what we have planned tomorrow. We'll probably just like do some yard work and um, like get a little pool for the outside for the kids to play in. It's been super nice here. So I figured I would let you guys go. I really appreciate you watching this video. Hope you all are staying super healthy and super safe and you know keeping your social distance and all that good stuff. But I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. If you're not new and you haven't hit the red subscribe button, please do so. I would really appreciate it. Also, follow me on Instagram if you're not following me there already. I share a lot of my daily thoughts over there. So if you want to keep up with me on the day today, then definitely go follow me there. I'll have it linked on the screen and also linked below. But I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. You're